just how far or how low have we fallen? And just what are we thinking? Did God change his mind? Then how did we get here? Well, someone has to sound the alarm. But can you explain this? No, no, I'm talking about your bill. How, yeah, how, late, I mean, how late in the third trimester could a, a physician perform an abortion if he indicated it would impair the mental health of the, of the woman? Or physical health. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm um, talking about the mental health. So, I mean, through the third trimester. The third trimester goes all the way up to 40 weeks. Okay, but to the end of the third trimester. Yep, I don't think we have a limit in the bill. So, um, where it's obvious that a woman is about to give birth, she has physical signs of, that she is about to give birth, would that still be a point at which she could request an abortion if she was so certified? dilating. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that would be a, you know, a decision that the doctor, the physician, and the woman I understand that. that. I'm asking point. if your bill allows that. My bill would allow that, yes. But this is the same woman who fought to protect the canker worm. your reaction, and particularly on this issue of late-term partial birth Well, abortion. I think it's terrible. Uh, if you go with what Hillary is saying, in the ninth month, you can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb of the mother just prior to the birth of the baby. Now, you can say that that's okay, and Hillary can say that that's okay, but it's not okay with me, because based on what she's saying and based on where she's going and where she's been, you can take the baby and baby out of the womb in the ninth month on the final day, and that's not acceptable. Well, that is not what happens in these cases, and using that kind of uh, scare rhetoric is just terribly unfortunate. You should meet with some of the women that I've met with, women I've known over the course of my life. This is one of the worst possible choices that any woman and her family has to make. And I do not believe the government should be making it. You know, I've had the great honor of traveling across the world on behalf of our country. I've been to countries where governments either forced women to have abortions like they used to do in China or forced women to bear children like they used to do in Romania. And I can tell you the government has no business in the decisions that women make with their families in accordance with their faith, with medical advice. And I will stand up for that right. All right. But just briefly, I want to move on and to another honestly, segment. nobody has business doing what I just said, doing that as late as one or two or three or four days prior to birth. Nobody has that. All right, let's move on. How did we get here?